All right, hello students and welcome to digital art. Okay, so this one is really cool in that it, digital art, I mean, it's in one hand, it's really close to actual physical art in the real world. And on the other hand, it's totally different. And so the only way to find that out is to do one of the digital art projects. And you're gonna really, I mean, this is not about teaching you any of the things about art, about you know, how to draw in perspective or how to pick the right colors. That's all covered in art class. This is really about taking those art skills that you already have, so wherever you are in art, and then learning how to digitize them, I guess, in a way. So, and, and it's really cool because in, in digital art, like when, when I paint on my iPad, the paint never dries unless I tell the paint to dry. And I never run out of the weird purple that I like using so much. It's, it's always there as much as I could ever want. But there are, of course, other limitations that kind of... So this Tech 2 is all about you learning how digital art really works, okay? So you're gonna create three really cool pieces that we're able to hang up in our area here in the, the backstage area and put them on display. So I really want you to you work in Procreate on the iPad. I have styluses, just come see me and I can let you use a stylus. And we don't have the newest iPads with the pencils yet just because pencils are really hard to manage in a school and they go missing all the time and they're very expensive So let's just work around that you work on a stylus. This is just the beginning Maybe for digital art 2 we'll add the new iPads with the new pencils But let's get be beginning and I really can't wait to see what some of you artists out there How you transition into the digital world and the things that you're able to make so have fun with this one